Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Thank you so much for choosing to click on my video. If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos from me. Uh, very close here to WWDC and the release of iOS 13, so you definitely do not want to miss uh, any of my future uploads. I will be having the first video uh, of iOS 13 Beta 1 hopefully up as soon as I can get it installed on my iPhone. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have notifications turned on. Anyway, in this video, I wanted to show you this best concept I've ever seen of iOS 13. Now, I wasn't originally going to make a video on this concept because there really isn't any new content here. It's just someone's uh, you know, thoughts of what they think iOS 13 could look like. But I found this concept on Behance, the website from a designer called Alvaro Pabesio, and it is just too good not to share. So let's go ahead and take a look at this gorgeous iOS 13 concept. I'll go through it with you uh, pretty quickly. I don't want to take too much time, but I will have this linked in the description down below if you do want to take a more in-depth look. So here it starts with iOS 13 Beyond Powerful. My first impressions here, I really like this wallpaper. I, uh, I really think Apple is gonna do something with the blue and the sand this year. I think that would really fit. And you can see there's obviously dark mode here in the top left, and we're seeing some of these iPad features here in the bottom with an external keyboard, uh, possibly some mouse support. Uh, looks like we have some redesigns in uh, contacts and uh, a lot of radical changes up here uh, in the widgets pane. So we're gonna scroll down here, and here we get to uh, some of the really cool iPad features. You can see here that the iPad possibly might have more desktop-like features. Now this has almost been confirmed because Apple really wants to bring more power to the iPad, and it must be disappointing that Apple works really hard on the iOS version for the iPad every year, but it just never really hits home for most people. They never really are excited with the features they have on the iPad, and hopefully this year, iOS 13 can bring enough uh, power features and enough powerful, really game-changing features to the iPad to make people impressed with it once again. So uh, it looks like we have a whole separate downloads folder uh, down here on the bottom right of your dock just like on the Macintosh, and we also have the option to place anything on our home screen, which is really nice. And we also here have a picture of an iPhone uh, with dark mode, obviously. And here is a, a little bit more on the iPad. It looks like Control Center has been redesigned, and uh, here is the uh, Downloads folder expanded. And one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that your apps are not right up front as soon as you unlock your iPad. I think Apple might be changing that because people actually use their iPads kind of similar to how they use their Macs. And uh, people want their Mac screen pretty much empty for except for whatever they have on the desktop. And it seems like that's what they're gonna do with the iPad this year. Because when you go into a view where you have all your apps showing, you can see the background is blurred out. And that's not what they have right now on the iPad. So I hope Apple can do some radical changes to the iPad uh, just to completely change up the user experience. So I really hope Apple can redesign the Files app to look like this. I'm not going to say much about it other than this uh, This looks really nice. And uh, this concept just really looks like something Apple would do. So uh, drop a like on this video if you are excited. And uh, tell me in the comments also what uh, your favorite feature is as I go through them one by one. So here you can see this one, iOS is for everyone. So it also shows that the iPad may be supporting uh, external mice. Uh, it looks like there is a little external option to connect a uh, Bluetooth accessory uh, just with a quick banner on the top right of the iPad screen. And also a much rumored feature is multi-user support on the iPad. So it looks like uh, this concept has envisioned a, a really neat way to switch users. So all you have to do is press and hold on the power button and you will see all the users that you have on your iPad as well as a power off button. So that is really cool. So just some enhancements to continuity here. So it looks like you'll be able to uh, transfer whatever you're doing on your Mac to your iPad. Uh, we have heard that before in the rumors. Also, finally, it looks like the iPad is going to be getting a calculator app, so thank you, Apple. Uh, I haven't seen a full screen calculator app um, in this render. Yeah, I don't see one if I scroll down. So I don't know what Apple is going to do with uh, a full screen calculator app, and maybe they might only have it available as an option uh, to slide it up and over over your, uh, over your current screen. That actually might be a good idea. We'll just have to wait and see what Apple does with it. So moving down here, we finally have a, a dark mode. It looks so nice on this iPhone XS, especially in the messages application with all the nice colorful profile pictures on the left. So if Apple can make dark mode look 
anything close to this, I will be very happy. So it looks like there is also a feature that will enable and disable dark mode for you uh, based on a schedule or based on sunrise. And it also looks like it is going to be supporting uh, every single app on your iPhone you can see there system wide. It looks really good on the iPad and I think Apple might be bringing an adaptive wallpaper similar to what they have on the Mac. I think on the Mac it's called a dynamic wallpaper. Uh, that would be pretty cool if we could see it uh, brought to the iPhone and the iPad because when Mac OS got dark mode, it also got the dynamic wallpaper. So hopefully we can see that brought to iOS 13. And here are just a uh, quick uh, to other applications with dark mode. This concept also has a few tweaks to different applications uh, system-wide. So the first one is reminders. I really hope Apple can change the reminders application. I am actually planning to make a video talking about how the current reminders app sucks on iOS 12, but it seems like Apple is going to be uh, redesigning the reminders app based on the current leaks. So here in music, it looks like they've just done a, a few little tweaks here, make the UI look a little bit different. And here on screen showing the redesigned mail app, or at least the concept of it, is actually a feature that has been rumored to be coming to iOS 13. So apparently there's going to be a bigger focus on artificial intelligence. So you can see here in the mail application, it looks like it can read your emails and suggest an action. So here, for example, Ticketmaster, and it'll recommend that you add your ticket to the wallet app. And then this is an email about someone's birthday party, and it gives you the option to add it to your calendar. So these features have uh, pretty much been confirmed that Apple will be adding more artificial intelligence implementation into iOS 13. So this is actually really cool. I didn't actually see this the first time I went through the concept, but it looks like there's an option to uh, do a digital signature and uh, you can put your signature that you uh, installed on your Mac and use it with your iPhone simply by scanning Face ID. So that is pretty cool. And if we go down here, it looks like we finally are seeing uh, the iMessage redesign. I think if Apple can make it look like this, I am going to be very happy. Again, as we look through this concept, it is really hard to believe that Apple did not design this because it follows all of the Apple design language and even uh, the marketing around this looks like something Apple would do. So it looks like we have different iMessage profiles. So you can see here for the different people, like this guy, Mike, he is set as available. And this person, Zoe Miller, is set to do not disturb so no one can message her. And you have other features like show my profile, show my status. So it looks like iMessage will be gaining features similar to WhatsApp uh, just to make it a more compelling messages option. And finally, this is always my favorite part, the little tiny enhancements that Apple uh, is hopefully going to make with iOS 13. Uh, just tiny little things here and there that bug me in iOS are hopefully getting changed. So the new volume indicator, please Apple, change the current volume HUD, it is horrible. Safari downloads, yes, that would be nice. We haven't heard many things or many rumors about Safari downloads except for recently, so uh, maybe we will be seeing that in Safari. A new option for find friends on Maps, that's pretty cool, I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, that would be really awesome if Apple could implement that into Apple Maps. And it looks like we also have a slightly redesigned uh, widgets page and it looks like these might be able to be resized. So as we get to the bottom, it thanks us for uh, checking out the concept. Uh, please go ahead and click the link in the description. This is by Alvaro Pabesio. I hope I didn't botch your name. Uh, it is a Spanish name there, so I hope I pronounced it right. But uh, this is such an impressive concept, and I can only imagine how much time and effort this designer put into making it, because it looks like a whole team from Apple, a whole marketing and design team put this together. It seems like this is something that I would read uh, on apple.com right after the keynote. It looks that good. So tell me in the comments below what your favorite feature uh, of this concept is. Of course, none of this is confirmed yet. This is just an extremely good concept. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.